Hey friends, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel, A Card Day's Work. If this is your first time here and you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. It's free, really, so you don't miss my next video and a thumbs up is always appreciated as well. Today's video is long, long overdue. I had all this footage from when we remodeled a section of my craft room and for some reason I never actually edited it and made a video out of it. This has been completed for around a year or so now, so I guess it's finally time to share the process. We started out by making a sketch of what we wanted it to look like in a software called SketchUp that my husband uses. He did all the work, not me. Uh, and um, I knew what I wanted it to look like. We put in some Ikea units, we made a trip to Ikea, and we also went to the hardware store. Then we got busy doing the actual work of putting it all together, and I used the word we loosely really and truly my husband did almost all the work I helped with moving things around in the craft room and organizing but other than that it was mostly up to him so when I started off I had these beautiful cabinets uh, or dressers or bookshelves I don't know from Ethan Allen these are absolutely beautiful pieces of furniture however the wood was very dark and and when I was trying to feel like my craft room was more inspiring and uh, like clean looking. It just wasn't fitting it. Uh, now I could have just painted these white. However, the storage wasn't really maximizing my space very well. I feel like I wasn't getting the most out of these. Those drawers that you see on the left side unit were actually made by my husband. So it used to just be shelves like the other one was on the right. That hutch, we made a custom ink pad storage unit for out of foam board from the dollar store. Um, but that was falling apart. It had been a few years since we made it. So it was really just time to refresh and I had a few pieces from Ikea already um, and so I decided to just kind of go all in and do a bunch of Ikea furniture for this. So what we decided upon was that we were going to do Alex drawers for the bottom of the unit. Uh, I already had I believe three out of the four of the um, taller Alex units these come in multiple sizes, so do be sure to do your research before you purchase one to make sure that it will fit your supplies and your space. But I already had a few of those Alex units, and so I only had to buy two of the shorter, wider units, and then two Calax units. Um, these are the two by four Calax that we ended up using, but I bought those two. So I, I didn't buy a ton of stuff. Um, and then we actually ended up buying a countertop from a local store that sells kind of like second run stuff. Uh, so usually there's defects or something wrong with it and it couldn't be sold in a regular uh, showroom. So um, this particular countertop that we ended up going with had a crack on the back of the backsplash, um, but we ended up cutting a huge portion of that out anyway. Uh, so it really ended up working out and it was perfect and it was a fraction of the cost. So if you have the option to do something like that, maybe a restore or Habitat for Humanity, there's a bunch of different... Um, stores that are kind of like that in the area, at least here. So if you have some of those stores, definitely check them out and see what you can find. Um, that's a great way to kind of reduce the cost of a larger project like this. So you can see we are measuring, we are vacuuming, we are moving stuff out of the way. My craft room is the room over the garage and half of the ceiling that you can't see in this frame right now is very slanty uh, because it is the roof of the whole house. Um, we're hoping eventually to put in a dormer or something like that to get more windows and raise the, the, raise the roof on that side. But for right now, we are working with a cramped space on the other side of the room. I was trying to make the most out of this side where I do have my my uh, storage and my taller units. There you can see the backsplash we cut off for part of it so that we could install those Calax units on the back. I love how this turned out. Now in the pictures you'll notice that these units are leaned forward a little bit. They look kind of like uh, angled away from the wall. We did secure these to the wall, so don't panic, um, but you'll definitely want to do this. Now, because of the weight of the furniture and because we have carpet, uh, the units at the bottom were sort of tilting forward a little bit just because of that weight distribution, and so therefore the Calax units on top were also doing that. Um, but we did attach them to the wall to make sure there wouldn't be any accidents, especially with the kids running around. 
um, we always want to be sure that we're being safe there. They always recommend you attach those to the wall regardless of whether they're up on top of something, uh, but especially in this case, it was important for us to do that. Handyman husband over here is installing some of these shelves that I got from Ikea as well. These are uh, like a picture ledge basically. So it's just like a little L sort of shape that hooks right into the wall. And I got three of them. I really love these for displaying things. So I knew that I wanted to have kind of a pretty sort of backdrop for when I do my intros for videos or honestly just to look at because it's really pretty. Um, and I am definitely a person who is inspired by my surroundings when I am looking to create. So if I can see supplies or project samples or just really pretty cute decorative things, that is a huge win for me and it helps my creativity immensely. Uh, if you're like me, consider doing something like this. It doesn't have to be large. It could just be a small little section of your room where you can display things um, and just kind of let your personality shine through that little addition. So as we're adding this onto the wall, I was thinking about what exactly I wanted to store in all of my units. I have a ton of craft supplies. I do design teamwork. I work closely with a few companies to make product samples and I design and illustrate my own stamp sets now as well. So I have accumulated a lot of things over the years. It's taken me years to get to where I am as far as the amount of craft supplies I have. Uh, and we frequently joke that they definitely are two different hobbies, creating and buying the supplies to create with. Um, so <laughs> there, there's definitely a lot that goes into kind of building your stash and you don't need as much stuff as I have in this room. I'm actually going through a huge purge right now because I find that I have way too many things and it makes it stressful. I feel like I, I can't create because I don't know where to start or I can't find what I'm looking for. Um, this system really helped me a lot with that because it helped me streamline the things that I wanted to use more frequently. I could put in the drawers that were right behind my chair. So this section that I keep walking through here is kind of like the space in between this unit on the wall and my desk where I do my editing, my crafting, my filming, all of that. So it's kind of like this narrow little hallway and my chair sits right in the center there. Um, and so I can just spin around, get my stuff out of the drawers and then turn right back around and keep creating. And that is huge for me uh, because it streamlines my, streamlines my process and just makes it so much easier for me to create and be efficient. Um, you can see that I am adding things into my Calyx units here. I have some floral stuff up at the top. Those are larger floral pieces that I knew I wanted to keep um, on hand and nearby because I really love to make wreaths and things like that, but they don't need to be seen and they don't need to be out um, in this craft setup. Now, fast forward one year and we actually just built me uh, a couple little shelves with these holes in them. I can put my little vases full of uh, fake or silk flowers in and it looks like I just have a whole wall of flowers in my craft room, which is gorgeous. I'm going to see about doing a video on that. If you're interested, drop a comment and let me know if you want to see that in a future video. Uh, Andrew is still working hard at getting these shelves up on the wall. Um, it took a lot of measuring and this is sped up six times the speed that it actually was. So he is a very, very careful uh, handyman for me. He definitely wants to make sure that he does it right uh, so that I'm not struggling and <laughs> um, wishing that it was different later. So we like to make sure we measure and do our work ahead of time. On my bottom right side of the Calyx units, I was using uh, these fridge bins. It's the Jennifer McGuire method of storing my stamp sets. So I've got both of those on the bottom there and I'm just slowly working in as Andrew is working on kind of filling in some of those things that I knew where I wanted them to go already. I didn't have a plan for a lot of the stuff, but it turned out um, really nice in the end. Uh, once we got the shelves installed, all of our units were in place. Our countertop was ready to go. And I'm giving you just kind of a quick look of what the craft room looks like uh, as of me making this video. Uh, it has become quite messy since then. So uh, this is like the cleanest it was. <laughs> but I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love it. Um, I hope that you guys love it as well. I know that um, we don't all have a lot of space and it's taken me a long time to get to this amount of space. Um, and I feel like no matter how much space we have, we always feel like we need a little more. 
Uh, so um, I know that struggle for sure, but I hope that you can take bits and pieces out of this that might work for you and apply them to your craft room as you can. Um, I really, really find that having a system that works for you is the most important thing. I've seen so many videos where I'm so inspired or um, I love what someone else is doing and then I try to figure out how to make it work in my room and it just doesn't work. Um, it can be really disheartening and discouraging sometimes when that happens, but just keep working at it and keep thinking of ways that you can make things work for you in the space that you do have. Um, if you guys have questions about anything that I've shown in the video today, definitely drop a comment and let me know. I've tried to kind of include everything as it's come together so you guys can see what it looks like and then go a little slower here at the end just so that you can see kind of what everything turned out looking like. Now I do have a video where I show you guys what is in these drawers and talk a little bit about the storage here. Um, so if you're interested in me talking specifically about what's in these drawers and how I kind of stored this stuff, um, I will link to that video in the description as well just so you guys can check that out. Uh, but you can see that I went through and labeled each of those drawers here and I'm kind of just giving you a glimpse of what is inside so that you have an idea of some of the storage systems that work for me and the supplies that I have. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it makes sure that you don't miss another one of my videos. See you in another one really soon.